imagine you want to create something like this. This is a spiral staircase, just blocked out, just gray boxing, nothing particularly impressive about this, but I want to get it done as quickly as possible because that's what gray boxing is about, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in just a few seconds. The first thing that we want to do to make this happen is to create an empty object and we're going to call that step. So within here, we're going to create our first step. So we're going to need a cube and we'll call the cube floor. The cube is going to be, I think, one meter deep by 0.35 high and 2.5 wide. Might seem quite wide, but you always want to go wider than you would in the real world when you're in a game. It's just the way the 3D stuff works. So position wise, we're going to move this back 0.5. So that's half of the X scale and back 1.25, which is half of the Z scale. The reason we're going to do that is so that the pivot point of our whole unit is in a good spot. So reset that to zero just because it's convenient. Okay, so next up, we're going to want to put in a new 3D object cube. This is going to be our left wall. The wall is going to be, let's say, one by three by 0.2. Yeah, that looks OK. And we're just going to use a vertex snap. So I'm pressing and holding V and then grabbing that vertex. I actually want the outside vertex. So I'll let go and grab the one on the outside like that. And then I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to call that right wall. Press and hold V and move that over there and it just snaps the vertices makes it super easy to put it into place duplicate the floor and we'll call this one roof and then we'll use the vertex snapping again and put it into place there so there we go we have one step that's a good start now we have our first step we can duplicate that 24 times let's collapse it down and hit the duplicate key that was Control d 24 times we now have 25 steps but they're all in exactly the same location so this is where the real fancy trick comes in we're going to use a formula to change where they all sit all at the same time so we're going to start off with highlighting all of the steps and then we're going to go into our position and we're going to say l and then we're going to have a starting and an ending position now, the starting position is going to be the position of the last one in the list. It's a bit counterintuitive. So we're going to have the highest point at the beginning, and then we're going to go to the lowest point for the uh, second parameter. So what should the parameter be? Well, each step is 0.35 units high, and we have 24 units that are going to be moved. The first one won't be moved at all. And so 24 times 0.35 is 8.4 units. So we're going to go 8.4. And as soon as we hit return, we can see that they have all been moved. We now have a stack of 24 units. OK, great. But we also need to rotate them and we can do the exact same thing. We're going to rotate around the Y axis. We're going to want these to rotate maybe 20 degrees each. There's 24 to rotate. 24 times 20 is 480. So we do L 480 for the rotation on the last one and zero for the rotation on the first one. And there you go. We have our spiral staircase. Doesn't look great from the outside because we're using these square blocks. But if we go inside, it is clearly, it's difficult for me to control it, but it is clearly a spiral staircase. Okay, there we go. Quick tip for Unity. You can use formula in the transforms to do some fantastic things with a large number of objects all at the same time. Huge time saver. We just created a 25 step spiral staircase in less than five minutes whilst explaining it. Take you two or three minutes once you've got the hang of it. See you again soon. Bye bye.